This is the third World Food Safety Day that we are going to celebrate on Monday. The World Food Safety Day was first celebrated in 2019 and also on 2020 on the 7th of June 2019 and 2020. And this year's theme is Save Food Now for a Healthy Food Tomorrow. Hindi mein kehte hai log, kuch log jine ke liye khate hai, kuch log khane ke liye jite hai. I want to tell you and share with you that today the world stands at a precipice of ecological collapse. Climate change is threatening our very existence. Climate change is a big threat. Food is a common thread linking all 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, popularly known as SDG. There is a direct or indirect interconnected economic, social, political, psychological, anthropological, and environmental dimension of food systems. I want to share with you one shocking truth. Chemical, food, and agriculture is responsible for 75% damage to the planetary health. The whole world is one family. That's the first message I wanted to give you. I want to share with you, and I'm very proud of my Indian heritage, the Indian philosophy emanating from a spiritual understanding that the whole humanity is made of one thing, one life energy. Understand the importance of health, environment and nutrition. Why do we celebrate World Food Safety Day? Because on this International Day, it is an opportunity to strengthen our efforts to ensure that food we eat is safe mainstream food safety in public agenda and reduce burden of food bound diseases not only nationally but also globally. So I come back again to my first message that I wanted to give you was to the Kutumbagam. The whole world is one family. And COVID-19 taught this lesson to us. The virus does not respect any political boundaries, does not have any respect for age, gender, color, caste or creed. The virus forces us to realize and taught us that the world is a one family. That's the learning, one of the learnings I've taken from COVID-19 pandemic. Now, what is the link to nutrition? The first of the cycle is agricultural security. Without agricultural security, we cannot achieve food security. And without food security, we cannot achieve nutritional security. So this is an important cycle between agricultural security, food security, and nutrition security. Thomas Edison, an American inventor and business person, to quote him, the doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with, with drugs. I also want to introduce a new concept of holistic health. According to the traditional definition given by the World Health Organization way back in 1948, to quote, health is a state of physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. I would strongly suggest that rather than focusing on specific pandemic illness or specific parts of the body, holistic health is an approach to life. The goal of holistic health is to achieve maximum health and well-being where everything is functioning at the highest optimum level possible. There are eight dimensions of holistic health, while the World Health Organization of Health has only three dimensions, physical, mental and social, and recently they have introduced spiritual. But there are eight dimensions of holistic health, physical, emotional, intellectual, social, spiritual, occupational, financial, and environmental. I want to quote finally with, with an ending from my favorite hero of my life, Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata Ji said to quote him, eat your food as medicine. Otherwise, you have to eat medicines as your food. So finally, I want to share with you the take home message. Number one, Vasudeva Kutumbukam, the world is a family. And the second take home message is avoid 
high salt, sugar, and saturated fat. Avoid H triple S F. Thank you. Namaste. Namaskar. Namaskar.